Well, let me ask you a question. Would you like to uh, read faster and memorize everything that you read? Probably the answer is yes. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can read a book within half an hour and how you can memorize much more efficiently. Okay, so it was a couple, actually no, it was a year ago when I was listening to one of Jim Rohn's talks on YouTube. Uh, I love Jim Rohn. It always cheers me up. And Jim mentioned this one book. And that book was How to Read a Book by Mortimer Adler. It's an old book printed in 1934, big thick book. And I decided, hey, if it's good enough for Jim, it's good enough for Amir. So I ordered the book on Amazon, took a while, got it in and started reading it. And it turned out, like I said, it wasn't really a book, but a resource guide. So I went in deep on it and I studied it for a while and I started applying it bit by bit and the results were astonishing. I'm like, holy shit, uh, this stuff really works. And what I'm about to show you today is everything that I took from that book and I applied it into my um, learning uh, habits. And it's not hard, it's super easy, anyone can do it. Literally all you need is a physical book and a pen. This doesn't work for audible or, aud or uh, auditory or even visual, but physical book. And uh, pretty much this is a system that you need. And truthfully, uh, I can go through a couple of books a week with this model. I retain information better, I read faster, and generally speaking, it's a better experience because I just wanna set some things straight before we continue. When people say you should read, uh, most people view reading as a one-way event, meaning you grab a book, you read it word for word, and you put it down, and that's that. You never pick it up again, or you never read it again, and there's no organic, uh, relationship with your book as opposed to what a book should be is a resource it, it, it is a trusted resource that you have a two-way conversation with is something that you can go, come back to time and time again it's something that you can dig into that you can feel that you can look at they can put on the side go back to it take notes about it it's a teacher just remember that a book is a teacher you shouldn't be reading for the sake of reading you should be reading to learn something it's a journey and it should be fun it should be entertaining and you should enjoy the process of diving in deep to books okay so this is the system that Mortimer Adler talks about in how to read a book. I'm just going to summarize it for you right now. So the first thing you need to know is why did the author spend so much time writing this book and wanting to publish this book? Obviously the author wants you to learn a thing or two. And basically what you need to do is first understand who the author is. So in this case, it's the late great Felix Dennis. By the way, one of my top favorite books of all time is How to Get Rich from the former founder and owner of Maxim Magazine, a bunch of other publishing giants like this guy. Um, he lived an interesting life and so many great, great lessons you can pick up in this book. So I do recommend you get this book. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is why did Felix Dennis write this book? So do some studying about Felix Dennis. So usually in books, um, somewhere, somewhere in the cover or the back of the book, there's gonna be, here we go, about the author. That's the first thing you gotta read is who is Felix Dennis? So Felix Dennis is a poet, a publisher, uh, founder of Mac, Max Magazine, yada yada, lives in England. This is really important for you understanding like how this author speaks, what his ideologies are, what his philosophies are, what his religious views are, what his political beliefs are, etc. So do a deep dive. Sometimes I even suggest go on your phone, Google him. If they, have, if they just have like a small blurb, go on Google, go on Wikipedia and really understand who the author is. That's the first step you need to do because you need to take your mind and transplant it to the author's mind and really see from his point of view why he wanted to write this book. Okay, so that the second step is, once you figure out who the author is, what you want to do is you want to go over the table of contents. Okay, so if we go over the table of contents over here, uh, we're going to go through one by one and see how Felix organized the book because this gives you a lot of insight to how he structurally thinks and if, if he's a systematic individual, how he wants you to experience the book itself. So in this case, you know, part one, reason not to get rich. So he tells you at the beginning why you should not get rich. Reasons of getting started, uh, you know, getting rich, and finally, you know, troubleshooting endgame. So this is how it's structured, pretty straightforward. So you can tell from how Felix is, he's a no bullshit son of a bitch. Everything's structured, everything is in order. There's no beating around the bush. He gets, you know, straight right to the point, okay? So once you 
you know, analyze the table of contents, you understand what type of character Felix is and how he's organized this book. Cool. Next step is you need a pen, okay? And basically what you're gonna do right now is you're not gonna speed read. So one thing I do wanna emphasize is with this uh, system that Mortimer Adler speaks about, there's no speed reading, it's more meta-learning, it's figuring how you absorb information and uh, it's more or less understanding that it's not about reading everything in the book, it's about picking up the key things from the book. Remember, there's probably about only 10% of key takeaways from a whole book. You don't need to read word for word. So basically what you do is you get your pen and you can scan. And this is really important over here. You don't need to go in order from A to Z. You can literally scan the book how you want to scan it. So basically sometimes I like to fool around. I'll go from back of the book, I'll go backwards, you know? Because usually, you know, the ending in the front has uh, the most important things, the middle is just full of fluff. And basically I go randomly and I'll scan. And I'll just scan like this. So you usually like to scan with a pen, or you can use your finger, I scan, look around, I scan. Sometimes you can read the you know uh, headline of the chapter, a few words about luck, uh, since he's a poet, so he has poetry over here, so he's big on philosophy, that, keep that in mind. Uh, so I just scan, I spent about five minutes. So basically they say spend around five to seven minutes scanning the book, and you're not writing down anything, you're not memorizing anything, you're just scanning the book. Then once you're done scanning, you put it down, uh, you let that sit in, you think about it, and now you grab your pen, and basically what you wanna do is you can go throughout the book. Great thing about this process is, once again, you don't have to go in order. Remember, the human mind doesn't learn in linear fashion. It doesn't go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The human mind thinks exponentially, very fractal, like fractal geometry. It goes from A to G, G to Q, Q to Z, Z to W, all over the place in a very fractal pattern. Uh, so the whole idea of trying to read a book from A to Z, I don't think so it's natural to tell you the truth. Uh, however, it doesn't stop you from doing it. So basically what I do is you grab your pen and what you're doing is whatever captures your eye, you circle. So for example, I circle this, glory hallelujah for some reason, it caught my eye, I bunny ear that. I keep on going around and uh, you're also looking for certain key phrases. So you're looking for definition words because Therefore, it is, she told me, he told me, any words that are about to describe something, if that catches your eye, you know, because, therefore, or something like that, you circle that because the author is trying to explain something really important or maybe important, you just don't know, so you wanna circle that. And the whole idea is you go throughout the book uh, and you circle, you know, this caught my eye, I circled it, I bunny-eared that. And I spend about 20 minutes, give or take, maybe 15 to 20 minutes, doing this process. So by the end of this process, what you have is literally, you know, I got bunny ears all over the place. Just, if you guys can see that. Bunny ears, I'm just circling everywhere. You know, big bunny ears circling. Uh, you know, left some notes over here, circle that. Uh, I got probably 45 different bunny ears all over the place. Once you're done that, basically what you do is you're done. You put this book away, so the whole process, let's say at the beginning, the whole process will take you 45 minutes. You're done, you put that book away and you forget about it. And you wait about a week. And then you come back to it. And you go back to the spots that you bunny-eared with your pen, with a piece of paper on the side, and you look at what you circled. And basically what this does is re-jogs your memory it pushes you to remember, wait a second, there's a reason why I circled this spot in the book. So it makes you think, hmm, what did my mind like about this? Why did I circle this? So you start reading about this and you make a note about this. So I have a eight by 11 a sheet, a piece of paper on the side. I write this spot, what I learned, you know, glory had cost you nothing to obtain something. I write that down, I like that. So I write that down. So I go to every single spot in the book where I did something. So the fifth, you know, for example here, the fifth error, skimping on talent. So better hire good talent. So I read through here, any company, many. So I write down some quick notes. I go throughout the whole book. That process, you know, takes another 20 to half an hour. And what you're left with is jot notes of the whole book on an eight by 11 paper. Bang, 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 bang. And basically what you want to do is you can keep that as a reference. And usually what I do is I take that eight by 11 and I put it back into the book like this. 
or maybe you can type that out. So sometimes I recommend for people, sometimes I do this myself, I'll actually take that and turn that into a video. Same thing, for example, with this video. I took what I learned in Mortimer Adler's book, How to Read a Book, and make it into a video so I can cement the process better in my mind, internalize it, as opposed to knowing, or as Richard Feynman would say, as understanding it. Uh, so basically, once you have that, you put it in here, and you can put it back on your bookshelf. But you're not done yet. Remember, this is a resource guide. You don't just read a book one time or twice, like, oh, I read it. No, 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 you better, you need to live the story. So if it's on your bookshelf and anytime you want to kind of regurgitate your memory once again or get some fresh insight with a fresh set of eyes, go back to your book, you know, take out that piece of paper that you have all your notes in and start looking at it. And then maybe go back, maybe you want to circle something new. So the whole point of the how to read a book faster and memorize faster it's not about memory it's not about reading word for word because when you're reading you're passive but what this model is you're proactively engaging in a relationship with that book and also you're reactivating your memory because once you you know first your draft you put it on the shelf and then you come back a week later you have to force your memory to recall why did you circle certain spots so in a nutshell, that's how I read the book and it's helped me tremendously. I memorize books much better. I can regurgitate information much better. Uh, the experience above all, if I, was, if I was to say what is the best result of all this, I would say the actual experience of you know, having a relationship with a book, you know, holding it and circling it and creating my own thesis and hypothesis of what, Rich, of what Felix wanted me to learn. That's the biggest takeaway that I have from this. So I hope you enjoyed this process on uh, how to read faster and memorize better. Um, actually, I'm actually curious on what you, what kind of systems you have. Maybe you have different systems that I'm not aware about. If you can leave a comment below this video, that'd be great. And if you found value in this video, please share this with your uh, friends and family. Peace.